All right. Uh, v has a built-in UI kit uh, called the UI, okay? As you can see over here, you know, it does all of these things, and it has a GUI here, right? So the documentation isn't that great on the on the page. Let me just go into the, the VLive, right? And if you put in UI here, because it's built in, you don't really you don't really get anything for VUI. You really have to go over to the GitHub page right here, right? And with this, you basically have to read through the code and and learn from reading the code, and and that's pretty much that, right? And you know they've got some examples, you know. So, let, let, okay, let's get into it, right? All right. So first, what we got to do is we got to import uh, wrong one. We have to import UI, import UI, okay. Then the next thing we have to do is we have to make a struct so that you can um, access all of the things, all of the elements. Or all of the uh, widgets, they're calling them widgets, that that you create, right? And then what you're going to do here is you're going to put a window. And then you'll put uh, UI.window. Okay. Okay, so you got UI.window there, right? All right, and then you make your main function, fn main, okay. All right, and then after that, you have to uh, clear your variable, mute app equals or worst operator app. And then, all right, this has to be, and this has to be a reference right here. Okay, mute app, okay. So in here you put window zero. So it's gonna be the the main window basically, okay. Then you do uh, UI dot run then you put app in there. Okay. So we got that going we got that going last, right? Now you want to make your app window. App dot window equals oh, this already, <coughs> it's already declared, so we don't have to do that. Okay, and then we put UI dot window. And this is the pattern right here. We put a comma window. <coughs> this is the pattern right here, right? All right, so, and what you put inside here is you put height. Let's just make it a uh, 600 by 600. And then width. Then 600, okay. We put state, which is gonna refer to this app right here. Because you're gonna put all of the all of the variables that you need inside of this global space. We'll show you how to do that in a minute, okay? All right. And then we can actually put this up here, but we can put it whatever. So we'll put title. Okay. We'll call this uh, test window. Okay. So let's do this window. Okay, so oh, why didn't it come up? All right, run, and this is hello that v. All right, this <coughs> UI dot run app, and it's dot window. Okay, so let's save this. All right, we'll run it again. I think I have to put. I think this has to be a reference. All right, I, I had this spelled wrong right here, so put that dot window in there, right? <clears throat> and this will run. Okay, so be that run alone. 
voila, we have a window, okay? Alright, one of the other things that's uh, cool about, one of the things I wanted to show you was how to, um, how to add a background color. So import GG is the, no, GX, GG is the OpenGL thing, right? Alright, and if we go down here, we can put BG color. Alright, and let me get over to this thing. Let me get over to my web browser right here, right? Alright, so the GX dot, if you go into the GX docs, um, just type in GX in here. Okay, and you'll see that there's a bunch of base colors. You can get a color from RGB, you know, color from string, color from hex, color from RGB. But what we're going to do is we'll take, uh, let's go with, let's go with indigo, right? So what we'll do is we'll put, uh, put gx.indigo. You can see the background of the window is indigo. Okay, now we're gonna put a label up, right? Uh, a label that says "Hello World," of course, right? Uh, I ran into some issues with this, right? I had uh, basically what I tried. I, I, I was having issues trying to center it on the screen, or center "Hello World" on a on a um, on a widget. And I updated to a I updated to the nightly version of a V and or VUI as well and it actually it broke some things but you know this is this is an open source project it, it's definitely in beta it's got a long way to go however you know it's being worked on it's being worked on you know you can see that commits are being done weekly and nightly and stuff like that so it's okay but I'm gonna change the color back to white just so we can we can see what I'm doing here right okay so now we'll go over we'll go over to here right and uh, this is this is the v, uh, VLang UI GitHub repo, right? And see, whenever you want to learn about a component, right? Just go. Where is it at? Okay. So we're gonna put a label. So we see uh, widget V label, okay? Right. So you can see all the properties that it's gonna take, and uh, you know, basically to change the color of the text, you use this property right here. But because of the new version, it it for some reason is not working I'm, I'm gonna go into discord and see if I can get them to uh, possibly do something about that okay all right but let's go back over to the code right all right so whenever we want to put a label in there or put in any other widget right we start up here so label that's what we'll call it a uh, label yeah oh, come on now okay label and then it's gonna be you're gonna set a reference to UI dot label okay and then when after that right you have to initialize it down here right so we're gonna call it label which is the name from here label and then we're gonna put the uh, we're gonna put the properties in there so we'll put uh, it's gonna be UI let me see I think you need to, I don't know if you need to use it as a reference I'm gonna use this back and forth just to show you guys my whole thought process right here so now we see that okay label right uh, this this is the main widget, right? And how I'm learning how to do this? Uh, then I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into the examples, right? All right, and let's find one. I believe this change title has a label in it, right? So we see a column. Uh, uh, okay, I don't think this one. Okay, you can see a label there, right? Okay, but they don't do it the same way as I'm gonna do it. But I'll show you, right? So we'll put UI. UI dot label UI dot label and the key is going to be text and then we're going to call this hello world okay bam simple right so now we can go in here and we put app dot label and it's going to reference this label from this uh, from one of the properties you know because we're making we're making the app what well, we're referencing the app struct here 
and it has a label in it and we've initialized it here so you can initialize it with app label like that right so let's try to run this and this is uh hello.v yeah, supported but never used yeah because we're not using the color module you can see hello world is there right okay now uh, I was trying to align the text center right so way you lay things out in here is you lay them out in the columns and rows there's a couple different layout managers that's probably going to be in the next video but I'm gonna give you a, a, a I'm going to give you a, you know, get your feet wet on this one right here, right? So what we do is we put a UI.column, okay? And then, it's kind of just like, it's like Flutter if you know Flutter, right? Children, and then uh, we'll just put app.lay, I think we can put it more than once. Let me see what happens, right, if I do it this way. It should should do it uh, what is it, vertically, and this has to be small or it has to be. So let's clear this out. Okay, okay. So it only does it one time, right? So it's making a reference to one time, right? So it won't that won't work. All right, but what we can do is uh, let me take this so it doesn't give me this warning every time takes the GX out. We needed that for the color, right? All right. So we, we can we can also just do this right here, right? We'll put UI the label, and then we'll put text, and then we'll call it uh, Hello World Two. Okay. So let's see what this happens. What happens with this? And there's another thing. I just found this out. We can do this, right? If you put V watch it'll automatically compile every time you freaking uh every time you um V watch run and then the file it'll automatically compile every time you you save so I just found that out okay so you see we got another one there there's another one all right all right so all right we'll take that out but it's gonna lay everything out in a column you know it's gonna lay everything up um up and down or, or vertically or whatever right but what we also can do is you have the other layout widget row right which is gonna lay things across right so we'll put we'll put another label in here we'll put UI dot label and we'll put the text in there and we'll make that let me make sure I started this video okay yeah it started okay Put the text in there, and we'll put hello. Okay, we'll just put hello. I'm I'm, I'm corny. I, I don't know why. I just I have to put the same thing, right? So just to show that this is gonna go across or horizontally. Okay, why is it not taking this? Okay, you are that wrong. Maybe I have to put a comma after every one of these. I think so. Okay, so. Oh uh, no, did it run? Alright, let me stop this. Let me figure out what's going on here. I'm going to take this watch out so I can see it run one time. Oh, 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 okay, I see what I did. Alright, you also have to do uh, children here. Okay. I don't think you need these. Okay, you see that it did it across, right? Okay. Now we can put some spacing in there. Is it space? Oh, let's see. Okay, let's go back to the code here, right? So we see spacing 10 right here, right? So we can put spacing. Is it space or spacing? Spacing. And then 
10 okay so we'll see it'll separate those a little bit okay you see there's 10 you know there's space in between them right okay all right and I tried this alignment center right here and it, it doesn't work it doesn't work let, let me just show you right because I was thinking that it would line everything in the center if this works I'm gonna kill this thing right I'm just going off of the fly right now see yeah it doesn't move everything over or nothing like that right so my little hack around this one is to use a margin right you're gonna have to play with this so margin and then you use UI dot margin and then we're gonna put uh, let's put uh, 100 I think this is up and down 100 100 100 all right let's see what we got there now I'm gonna go back to running it with that watch thing because this one I'm gonna play with the numbers a little bit okay you see it's it's moving it over right so I know this one and I, I can't find any documentation on this right so let me put uh, 250 so I'm just kinda making this up as I go but there we go alright and you see and you see that's about the center or whatever or, you know give or take but this is how you can kinda move things around and we could drop this back uh, and we could drop this down to 250 here too 250 try to get it somewhere in the middle of the screen okay and you see we got it in the middle of the screen basically here right uh, you know the six uh, you can see that it's 600 where where's it at where's it at the height and the width are 600 by 600 I put 250 in there because uh, the, the the widget itself is going to take up some space so it's, it's pretty close to the center right all right and I'm gonna end the video on that um, I'm going to do a series of this. Uh, I'm going to keep going with this and make a series out of this. And then maybe throw in a couple real, you know, real apps in there. So stay tuned. Thanks for your time and attention.